there were liars, four of them in a city. And there were only four people that qualified to be called liars with a capital L because they were so relentless. They lied about absolutely everything. No one could trust them. Eventually, at the four quarters of the city in which each of them separately lived, nobody but nobody would give them a job. Nobody would trust them with anything. Nobody would rent them a room. We've had done with you. Now you get out of our city. You can't trust them. Nobody would have anything to do with them. And so, by kind of a force of gravity, if you like... Uh, gravity by us. The four of Don't them, you go and don't you come back. The four of them met up with each other on the outskirts of the city and fell to talking because they'd all been evicted. And it was then that they found out that they had something in common, that they were the four liars. Well, when they realised that they were thrown together by fate, they decided that there was no point going back to their own kingdom because... Well, nobody would. Everybody knew them there. They would go and find some new territory and blag, there's no other word for it, blag their way in another kingdom. And so off they went. However, when they got to that next kingdom, on the outskirts of it, there was a nice looking farmhouse. And they quarreled with each other about who was going to go and try and blag a meal off the, off the farm. The farmer who was doing something in his front garden, plowing something. Save it, it's hay time. So they argued and they quarrelled and finally they pushed forward the youngest and the youngest went up to the farmer and he said Here, here, I bet, I bet you anything you like, Rice, that um, you want to give me and my three companions here a really good meal tonight Ray. if we tell you a most amazing tale. I, you I, told me an amazing tale, you I, I don't shark easy. I can tell you something quite incredible, you won't believe it, it's amazing. Honestly, it'll be worth a meal because when I was a baby, right, when I was a baby, my mother, right, um, she, she was wandering along in the forest and she saw a lion, a ruddy great lion, and she dropped me right there and then. And, yeah, and you were raised by lions and? Yeah, I was, and I could prove it as well. Rawr! Rawr. Oh. So you're not impressed then? No. Oh. I come so, from Devon, I don't impress easily. So he went back to his friends, and they argued, and then they pushed the second youngest along. Here, I, here mister, um, I can tell you a really amazing story. I really right, I'm not terribly surprised by that. What will happen to thee? No, it's incredible, honestly. Well, when I was going through the forest, um, when I was a baby, my mother, she dropped me when she saw a pack of wolves. And honestly, I was raised by wolves, and I can prove it. Oh! Ow, 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 ow! better than Dina. Go about business. Oh. And so off he went. Oh dear. Well, now there were only two left and they pushed each other and they pulled each other about. And when the third one, he said, oh, all right, I'll go and try. Yeah, listen, mister. What is it? Um, I've got the most amazing story. I'm sure you'll want to give me and my mates, like, um, you know, dinner tonight if you, uh, because when I was, when I was, when I was a baby and my mother took me through the forest, guess what happened, yeah. She dropped me because she had a shark and you were raised by... Well, I think it's quite impressive. I was raised by snakes. Who's ever heard of that? And I can prove it. Ooh, snake snow. Now that's interesting. Are there any more of the? Uh, no. Oh. There's a fourth one over there. Does he want to come and tell me what he was raised by? Oh, all right. Oh, finally, finally the fourth one, the fourth one, with some trepidation it has to be said, went forward and said, um, So, your mother dropped you in the middle of the forest and you were raised by... Oh, I was raised by something, you, you, you really won't believe this, I was raised by hornets. Bzzz, bzzz, hornets! Wife, 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 do you hear? The four slaves we lost under absolutely remarkable circumstances have come back and work for us, and we will make them work. Stolen by hornets and snakes and wolves and lions. We'll have that. Oh, no! And with that, they sprinted off into the distance. And nobody heard from them again. Thank, Thank you. you.